This is uh, chapter 15, Revelation chapter 15. Look on the left, you can see way more. Hold on here. You can see way more precepts right here. But I'll read the little uh, breakdown right here at the top. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, welcome. This is your humble servant, Big Levi. And today is uh, Sunday, February the 14th, 2021, and it's currently 5.59 p.m. Brothers and sisters, we're about to go into chapter 15, uh, uh, Revelation chapter 15. We're about to set everything straight, which we already did. You see, the Mosai name... He's holy. The mo oh, okay, it's 6 o'clock. I need to go pray, but uh, anyway, so I'll just go ahead and do this, all right? The sun's about to go down in 13 minutes, so by the time I'm done with this, the sun will go down. As you already know, I do not, uh, uh, you know, edit my video. The beloved brother, LDI Hill, is out right now. He's uh, responding to Big Judah, and I was in my way. Uh, let's see. There you go. Okay, the brother's live. Okay, let me see. Is it is it the current one? Hmm. Yes, this is the current run. So he's live right now as of uh, uh He gonna hit them boy. You guys better get ready. You uh oh, you, oh boy. He gonna hit us. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna hit us with a hell of a blow you better get ready you better get ready go ahead and watch that okay so the holy spirit moved to a sister the sister called me i was about uh the beloved sister you know who you are i was doing the lesson i was preparing the lesson and then he said did you see the 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 lesson that big big judah did which i saw three years ago and when the whole thing was uh, in 2017 because i've been following the brother from day one so the great tribulation start in march 2021 uh judgment in march 2020 we were given a year to prepare brothers and sisters be at peace this has nothing to do with us this has everything to do to the people that did everything to us the 10 plagues of the apocalypse of abraham is upon those people and it's going to amplify intensify 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 yeah intensify all right those people you know what let's put a little music in this man what what judgment He's up on you, oh, uh, oh, hey, the most size not playing, oh, uh, the most size not joking, oh, uh, the cloud is moving, hey, the cloud is coming, hey, it is coming, hey, and the great cloud, hey, the most size not playing, hey, hey, the most size not joking, oh, uh, what, what, full judgment upon you, man. You think the most is playing? Brothers and sisters, look, we are going to read chapter 15, but first let us read the book of Enoch, all right? This is the message of Enoch. For those of you who don't know, I already went into this. We did a, a very big uh, video on that. It's in my channel. Okay, we're going to read the first page. And now I say uh, to you, my children, love righteousness and walk in it. For the path of righteousness are worthy of acceptance, but the path of iniquity will quickly be destroyed and vanish. And to a certain man from a future generation, the path of wrongdoing and of death will be revealed and they will keep away from them and will not follow them. And now I say to you, the righteous, do not walk in the wicked path or in wrongdoing or in the path of the deaf, or in the path of death, and do not draw near to them, or you may be destroyed. But seek and choose for yourselves righteousness, and a life that is pleasing, and walk in the path of peace, so that you may live and prosper. And behold, and hold my words firmly, and the thoughts of your heart, 
And do not let them be erased from your heart. For I know that sinners will tempt men to debase wisdom, and no place will be found for it. And temptation will no way decrease. Woe to those who build iniquity and found deceit, for they will quickly be thrown down and will not have peace. Brothers and sisters, you will not have peace. Woe to those who build the house with sin, for from the whole foundation they will be thrown down, and by the sword they shall fall. And those who acquire gold and silver will quickly be destroyed in the judgment. Woe to you, you rich, for you have trusted in your riches. But from your riches you will depart, from you did not remember the most high in your days of your riches. Which is mean your blessing. Okay, woe to you. The people that had the blessing. You have committed blasphemy and iniquity and are ready for the days of the outpouring of blood and for the day of darkness and for the day of the great judgment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The day of the great judgment is upon you. Brothers and sisters, let us read chapter 15 of Revelation and uh, tonight I'm going to go heavy on uh, the throne of David because everything that I was studying today it's connected to the throne of David brothers and sisters the second letter of uh, from Abbasis to King Belarus join me 8 30 we are going to go heavy on the throne of David I was not gonna do this but the most I moved me to do that I'm so excited let's read the whole chapter chapter Revelation chapter 15 all right, let me see if I can uh, put this uh, music a little bit down while I'm reading this. You know, I'll put it at six though. Let me know if it's too loud in the comment board. Six, six is good. All right, just something to cover the hissing. All right. Oh, <laughs> let's go back. Ah, and I saw a sign in heaven great and marvelous seven angels having the seven last plague for in them is filled of the wrath of god and i saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name and stand of the sea of glass having the hearts of god with the, the beloved brother big judah already went to this we reject the beast, he has no power. We didn't take, we reject his mark, which is not the freaking vaccine, which is not the freaking RFID chip. This is, has nothing to do with the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is Christianity, all religion, all their belief, all the way of life. The mark of the beast is the Gentiles themselves, is the heathens and their way of life. And we reject that. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God. And the song of the Lamb saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord all God, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thy King of saints. Our King, may the King reign forever. We are the saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glory thy name? For thou only art holy, only the most is only. For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgment are made manifest. And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was open. That's a testimony here, man. The court of heaven is, is adjourned. Right now, brothers and sisters, the gravel has been raised and hit. Many, many to kill. Your kingdom have been weighted in the balance and you are found guilty and the sentence is death. Yes. And the seven angels came out of the temple having the seven plagues, cloven pure and white linen and having their breasts girded with golden girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials full of the wrath of the Lord full of the wrath of the eternal one, the great one, the almighty one, the horrible and terrible one, who live forever and ever. 
And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of the Father and from his power. And no man was able to enter the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. The temple is earth. Okay, the temple is here, this reality. Okay, and the temple was filled with smoke. You're going to see smoke, cloud, all those things, what they mean, brothers and sisters. Let us move in. I think we're done with uh, this video. Okay, oh, um, uh, uh, we will we'll, we'll leave this here. Uh, we're done with the book of Enoch. We're done with the ten plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham is upon those people. Plus that seven plague, which is a bonus for my almost side. Yeah, let us move in. All right, let's put the music down a little. We're going to read it when we get too excited. All right, let me know, brothers, if the music is annoying and stuff like that so I can stop it because things sound good in my head. All right, this is the verse of the day. This is how the Holy Spirit communicates with his children. Is that thing recording? Yes, sir. All right, now, the verse of the day, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Proverbs 18, verse 10. Yes, the name of our Father is a strong tower, brothers. The righteous runneth into it, which we already did, and we cling on into all the name of our Father, and we save. Whatever. The name is Yahweh, Ahaya, Hawa, Allah, power. As long as in your heart, you know you're talking to the God that created the heaven, the earth, and everything in them, the God of Adam, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the only God, the all-powerful God. You are safe. Let's move on, brothers. Now, this is the precept for all this. Uh, from uh, uh, 11, uh, uh, Revelation chapter 15, verse uh, 1 through 8. Now, we are going to see... What is it, Yaya? Yeah, yeah. What is it, Shudi? You all right? The praying? Mm, yes, that is praying. Okay, that is making a lesson, all right? Okay, I see you, sweetie. What is it? Okay, I love you too, okay? Alright, I'll see you later. Daddy's doing something. There you go. That's my beloved daughter. That's Nayasha for you. A.K.A. Yaya. Alright. Alright, that was a slide. We should just give it to me. Alright, brothers, let us move in. Where we were. Now, uh, this is all the, this is, this are eight verse and this is chapter 15. We are going to go ahead and then uh, um, move all of them. All of the chapters, all of the precepts, brothers, well, not all of them. Uh, for the beloved brother, Big Judah put the video because he had the ancient Bible, okay? And the uh, recent Bible, they only put two precepts. And the old, very old Bible, they got like at least eight to ten, twelve precepts, okay, precepts. So now we're going to go in each of them and we're going to see... What is uh, father? Is it a fair God? Okay, is he keep? Is he going to keep his word? If he punish us, if he say he's going to punish us first, and then he's going to redeem us, then he's going to uh, punish uh, the 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 hiddens. Is he a liar? Okay, cloud. We're going to see what cloud is because we're going to uh, the the Holy Spirit sent us another a clue here, which is cloud. Okay, smoke. All right, let's move in. in. We already uh, um, take this. We're strong in the work of the Lord. Okay, Deuteronomy 32 verse 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth, and without iniquity, just and right, he is. Father is a fair and right God. He will not be mocked here. He is not a liar. He doesn't make mistake. We do. He doesn't. Deuteronomy 32 verse 4, he is the rock, he is perfect, which is the barrier, he is the rock, he is perfect for all his ways, uh, um, uh, um, Abedel, the rock is Abedel, my apology, alright, for all his way, a judgment, a God of truth, and without iniquity, just and right is he, many, many take care, you've been put in, in the righteous balance, and you're fine, wanted, your sentence is death. Many, many take care to you, Babylonia. Many, many take care to you, Gentiles. The unyielding, the unrepent. Many, many take care to you, heathens out there. And many, many take care to you, freaking two thirds. He is the rock. His work is perfect. The Most High judge us first. We went to Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble is no more, brothers and sisters. Rejoice. 
This is Esau's trouble and the Gentiles tribulation and the freaking two third punishment. He's perfect. All his way of judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. He will judge you right. The same amount of stuff that you did to us, he will do it to you. You know, double. Yeah, let us move into the next verse. Psalm 111, verse 2. The works of the Lord are great. Sort out all of them that have pleasure therein. Brothers, everything that the Father does, it's great. There's no such thing as the elite is doing this. There's no such thing as the little aliens moving stuff, uh, moving pieces, chess pieces upon the most high table. Blasphemy. You will not come up upon the loin of my father and try to take his glory away. You can't. And you will not. We will not let you. Brothers and sisters, all the warriors are standing fast in the 40-day fast. We will pray. We will continue until we fulfill our oath to the most high. Because his works are great. Search out all of them that have pleasure therein. All of them, they are pleasure. Mm-hmm. Let us move to the next verse, brothers and sisters. All of those are, are connected to uh, chapter 15. That is why you need a whole very old Bible so you will know the precept. All right, Precept upon precept. Thank you, the beloved brother Isaiah. Then again, uh, I said it earlier. I said it all the time. Isaiah is my favorite book of the Bible. Jasher is my favorite book of all scriptures. Enoch is my third book, my third favorite book. Okay, uh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Who is my second book? Enoch is my second book, and the third is uh, um, uh, the book of Ag, and then all the lost scriptures. The book of Ag. <laughs> Yo, I just love that book, man. Okay, my favorite book of all time, of all scriptures, Jasher. But my favorite book of the Bible, because the Bible had like 66, 86 stuff. The Bible is uh, the Bible has library of books. Okay, this is the, just that the most I reveal unto us. All right, Psalm one forty five seventeen, brothers and sisters, the Lord is righteous and all His way and holy and all His works. Everything that the Father's doing, He's doing it perfectly and He's doing it in righteousness and all His way, all His work are set apart, and He will judge this world righteously. He will judge it perfectly he will do it right and well and just and fair the psalm 83 gentiles will receive no mercy oh you can't repent and do all you can the most i seal your face you think you can go in our book and change things and put things next each other and saying like oh if you do this if you do that you do some stuff you're gonna be safe oh is that what that is you think the most high our father is as silly as you are oh hell no man you people are going to pay for what you did because our father's work is holy exodus 15 verse 2 the lord is my strength and song and he's become my salvation. He's my God, and I will prepare him an habitation, my father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord habitation is in your heart. The Lord habitation is in your thoughts. The Lord habitation is in your temple, your body, your soul, your works, your breath. We will prepare him an habitation. We already did. My father's God and I will exalt him. That's why we do this 40 days fast to magnify, glorify, give him all credit, exalt him. The eternal one, the great one, the ancient one, the horrible and terrible one. Yes, sir. Let's move to the next verse. Isaiah 66 verse 23. Then again, brothers, like I said, we are going to do the uh, the throne of David tonight. You All this, uh, certain of those verse, okay, they will... um come up and connect it with the stories that we're going to read okay and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me save the lord from brothers one new moon the new moon march 13th 2021 at 323 mm -hmm. yeah the fast going to be ended on march the 12th which is the you know the magical 12th okay this is the uh 12 one of uh 
one number for each tribe, and we got over 300 people join us. 300 times 40,000 years equals 12 million years, 1 million for each tribe, and then we'll have under 12. So now we got this is this is another this is Emitia right there, okay? So um, yes, uh, the the moon is Emitiel, Emitiel. All right, we will go into this. All right, we will go into uh, uh, uh the moon, and, well, the, we will go into the cloud. So the new moon is coming up. Our new year again, brothers. Please, we, let's not fight. Some of us say the new moon will be the nineteenth. Some of, of of us say the twenty ninth. Okay, all right. Some of us say the full moon, the twenty eighth. The 29th into 28th, okay? Some people begin it when uh, the, the moon is full, but we will begin it here when the new moon is coming. Anytime in March there is a new moon, it's our new year. Whether the new moon fell on the 1st, on the 8th, on the 17th, to, and then it started on the 13th. Because we really don't really know, brothers. Because those people mess with everything, all right? Please, let us not fight when the new year is going to be the Enochian calendar or the Jewish calendar and stuff like that. Now, the new moon, brothers. Let's read it again. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, all right? from from one year from what technically what it says it says it shall come to pass that from one year from one new year to another new year and from one sabbath from one from one rest to another rest shall all flesh come to worship before me say of the horrible one so one new moon we'll call the new moon the new year okay because it's it's isaiah 66 23 all right so let us leave that and then we'll leave this at peace brothers okay this is just an, another little connection we made you know so <clears throat> we don't want to fight uh um uh, over this so let us leave this at this is that thing recording all right it is recording <coughs> all right let us move to the next jeremiah 10 7 who would not fear thee, O king of nations? For to thee doth or doeth it appertaining. Appertain? For as much as among all of the wise men of the nations and in all their kingdoms, there is none like unto thee. Brothers and sisters, the Messiah is holy, is unique, and he is all by himself. Nobody is wiser than the Mosai. Abraham find out this the hard way. The Mosai give him like a couple hours to be like him. He almost destroyed the earth. You you do not you cannot understand the Mosai's judgment or his mind. All right. Many many take care upon you Gentiles. Many many take care upon you freaking heathens. Many many take care upon you two third. And many many take care for all of you that thumb down this video or write your little silly comment always trying to prove it's me what about my opinion what about me i can say things too many many to kill to you move to the next one brothers numbers 1 verse 50 but thou shalt appoint the levites again this the, the numbers numbers 150 is going to go in the book that we are going to read uh um throne of, da of david at 8 30 p.m today all right well, well, once you finish watching this be ready 8 30 we're going to come up okay the sun is down let me sanctify the fast uh thank you we are calling uh upon abedel to sanctify my fast and so the most i may look upon it with respect and we'll see the affliction of his people and i'm uh, i'm very proud that i'm working for him and i'm very proud of him and his work and i'm doing everything to glorify his name exalt him give him all glories all praises and all credit thank you for sanctify the fast right after this mosai i will eat and i will drink i will be merry in your name thank you amen all right my fast is sanctified brothers and sisters let me move in because the sun went down like 6 13 all right number 150 going to be connected to the throne of david please somebody write that down when i ask it but thou shalt appoint the levites over the tabernacle of testimony hmm <laughs> And all over the vessel thereof, and over all things that belong to it, they shall bear the tabernacle, and all the vessel thereof, and they shall minister unto it, and shall encamp around about the tabernacle. Okay? The tabernacle of testimony. <laughs> Alright. This will connect to the book of the throne of David we're going to read. 
All right. And then it's always called connected to this because they, they talk about this, uh, the tabernacle. After that, I look and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was open. OK, so the Levites, you know, they, the testimony already there. OK, so this is just a connection. Again, you will not understand it until we read the book to you, which we're going to read. Daniel 10, verse five. Then I lift up my eyes and looked and behold, a certain man clothed in linen whose loins were girded with fine gold of Ufaz. Who is this certain man? What was this certain man, brothers and sisters? That certain man, he's, he's, gir he's girded with uh, um, golden Ufaz. And this man was riding the cloud. Okay, I'll let you know. Well, let me know who that man was. You know, finish reading uh, Daniel, 10, 5, Daniel 10, verse 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the whole chapter. All right. We'll, we'll find out who this man is. And right here. All right. Let us move in, brothers. Okay. Exodus 40, 34. Then a cloud covering the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Again, brothers and sisters. <laughs> The glory, the cloud, because you know what cloud is, brothers? We will find out what cloud is. Uh, the, the, the cloud, you know, it's, it's, let me see. Okay, uh, let me see. Behold, the uh, temple's testimony and came out of the temple, uh, an angel, plague, and stuff like that. And, um, yes, and the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and his, uh, and from his power. And no man uh, was able to enter uh, into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angel were fulfilled. Brothers and sisters, this plague, this judgment is not for you. Be at peace, brothers and sisters. Be at peace. There will be no Jacob's trouble. This is Esau's struggle, trouble and struggle. Be at peace. The covenant has been restored. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High, give him all praises, all credit. And I see a certain duck dude, certain father duck. He's supposed to be a Levite. He's out there glorifying the Gentiles. He's out there, keep saying, oh, this was staged, this is so staged, the elite, the, the Illuminati and stuff. I have utmost respect for the brother. But for those of you that keep following people like this, they are going to lay, well, they're going to keep drag you straight to the lake of fire. Keep taking credit from the Most High. Keep listening to those people that are fear. They're not in the truth. They don't want to be in the truth. They know the truth. They prefer to give the glory to elites, Illuminati, some kind of deep state, some kind of alien. And they, they refuse to give the Father the glory. They refuse to tell the children like the Father is doing this on our behalf. Fear not. Come to him. Run to his name. You'll be safe. No, prepare, run, buy food, be like the Gentiles, be a freaking, uh, uh, well, let me get this, be a freaking hot-headed, be a freaking backward Gentiles, go around and buy food, go around and, and, and panicking, don't fast, don't pray, be a freaking Alex Jones. <laughs> Yeah, all right, brothers and sisters, let us move into the next uh, chapter. See, Exodus 40, 34. Then the cloud covered the tent and the congregation, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle, brothers. Moving. 1 King 8, verse 10. And it came to pass, when the priests were come, come out the holy places, that the cloud filled the glory, the, the, the house of the Lord. Why is it, brothers? Why is it every time the cloud always filled the, the house? What does cloud mean? The cloud is an angel. But what is the message the, the, the cloud is carrying here? Boom. The message is cloud. 10. The name of the cloud is Abariel. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and day 10. Let me see. Abariel. We did pray. Let's go ahead and pray. Uh, because we name every... Oh, let's go to your videos. We name every uh, um, 40 days prayer uh according to one of the angels okay so on day 10 we had uh, abariel so okay let me see if we can get this okay what day was that mm -mm, 40 days 40 days fasting uh, okay this is day 15 uh 14 13 uh 12 11 Day 10. This should be day 10, right? Abariel. 
Is that what that is? Yeah, day 10. Glo Wait, no, no. This is glory of God. <laughs> I made it one. I made it one. Um, It should be, Abariel should be uh, the last one we upload. Uh, it should be number 13th. Whoops. It should be number 13th. It should be day 13th, uh, so to speak. So, cloud, clouds, okay. Uh, let's see, 40 days of prayer. It should be here. Abariel, the Bariel, Ebedel, Yatsa, Kabodia, Regal, Pownell. Oh, I didn't put this in there. But Abariel was like uh, um, yesterday, uh, two days ago. Okay, uh, we already pray. So, um, passing of God, Abariel. So now we know that Abariel is the angel of the clouds. Pass, it, which means the name in passing of God, okay? To approach this angel, you need to repent for doubt, okay? She is the presence of God. So when the cloud is coming, that is why that man you just saw in the book of Daniel is coming riding the cloud. He's coming with the presence of his father. Everybody's coming. The father's going to be here. The son's going to be here. The mother's going to be here. The all angels are already here. The waiting on the great arrival, brothers. It's going to be magnificent. And she is the body and the protection of the law and the prophets. Okay? The law and the prophets. Let's see if we can... Uh, okay, let me see one. Okay, now, clouds. Okay? A burial, passing of God. Okay, she teaches knowledge. Okay? All right? Lord's name, son of David. That is why we have to go into the throne of David. I will make it sure, brothers. I'm, uh, well, I don't want to make any promise to the Most High, but we will do throne of David until we're done with this book, man. We will do it until... Uh, we'll, we'll go through the whole week until we finish this book, brothers. Until we finish this book. Uh, probably on Tuesday we may not, but we will do the throne of David because this this book is very important. And I said I was going to do it every Thursday, but uh, the Most High moved me to do it every podcast all right the throne of david okay so now abariel passing of god 10th to the barriel okay 10th to the barriel are clouds their name is abariel okay this name means passing of god now what was in the heart of the father when he invented cloud? He didn't duplicate or recreate. He invented creation which he, which with each thing he created and gave <clears throat> from an element with his son. It was if even the idea of such thing has never been thought of before. So it is very important for us to understand to join with the air Kodoshoi by seeing and coming to, per to perceive what God had on his mind when he created each thing. So it is with cloud also, when clouds were born, there was no thoughts or expectation in the mind of God of pollution, smog, or nuclear fallout. He only anticipated and expect cloud to be sweet and holy like the first cloud and creation that his son made. God made clouds to be the body of the presence of God because the cloud is coming, the presence, the body is going to be here. They teach mankind to prepare and, uh, and for and to prepare for and look to the time of judgment as they feel his presence. Brothers, this is the time of judgment. The cloud is coming. The presence is here. We do not fear. We rejoice. We're so happy. Our father going to kicking ass and taking name. And for those of you that are going to send me your little silly little email and stuff like that, please open your, if you stay in the second floor, the third, fourth floor, open the window and then drop. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this, brothers. All right. All right. Let's put this on. His presence. Okay. Then carry God around. He looks out from them and survey all the earth and the worksmen of his hand. A barrier carries the knowledge she requires to establish righteousness and purification. And it is thus their elder. They carry with them the constant feeling of the reality of his presence. Okay. That is why Yahawashai will come again in the clouds of heaven. This man that you saw in the book of Daniel, 
He's going to come riding the cloud with his presence of his father and the mother. He's going to be here kicking ass. The beloved brother, uh, little son Saba, has a beautiful video on this. Okay? The sun is coming in the cloud. He has a very beautiful lesson on that that I watched like a year ago. It is also why they receive him when he are sent into heaven. Abariel is the guardian of the law and the prophets. Okay? They are the masters over personal study and inquiry. They are the guardian angels of students, which is the people. The students is all the children, okay? When you want to know something, take a walk and look into the clouds and ask the Lord. So if you something is troubling you, you have some dream, you cannot, you don't know what that is. You just step outside, you look at the cloud, you ask the Father, okay? It will listen to you because the clouds are angels. They are the overseer of the security of the true religion. The clouds marks and record the passage of men. No worship of passage should take place in such way as to exclude them. Passages are birthings, blessings, ordinations, marriage, the take of the covenant, coming of an age, etc. A burial is the mental of affection the son has for the father. She is coat of many colors. They are the herald of the son uses announce his father. <laughs> they are the heralds of the son uses to announce his father. When Yahweh Shai came into Yahweh Shai gonna come in kicking ass again and taking name, make way for the father. And then the big man, the big unsure, the bus of buses going. <laughs> Woo! Oh brothers. Oh man, let me play a little music for a while, man. This is great, man. Alright. Okay, the most is coming. Judgment. What? Judgment. The most is coming. Yeah, the judgment. The most is coming. What? Judgment, the most I call me God. The judgment, the most I call me. Oh yeah, I will shine. Coming, riding the cloud. Oh yeah, I will shine. Make way for the Father. Oh yeah, I will shine. Coming for the Father. Oh yeah, I will shine. Coming to full judgment. The book of Daniel. Coming to judgment. Many, many take help. Oh, to Babylonia. Many, many take help. To all of you scumbag out there, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father is man. Oh, yes, sir. The presence of God in the midst proclaimed the majesty and glory and power of Messiah. Whenever you see a cloud, you can know the presence of God is passing by. Wave at him. For the clouds fill the mists of creation. They fill the primordial presence of the great one and, and, will, and will accuse all men of the blindness of the minds at the last day, which is we are in the last day. Okay? Before you approach to get advice first, repent of your doubt. Like you repent. People still have doubt. This is Jacob's trouble. They, they still have doubt. Repent from that, man. You still have doubt. We, we are the true chosen children of the Mosai. Repent from that before you ask the cloud of the Mosai anything. They still have doubt. Are we going to be saved? Am I chosen? Is Esau truly going? Is Trump gonna come back and become president again? Oh hell to the mother loving! <laughs> All right. One of the second day after Abariel was created, the Lord met with the little cloud. He gave it a community to support her and help her. Big clouds, little clouds, strong clouds, fun clouds, all different kinds of clouds to love her and each other and support with each other. He gave them activities to make them happy, fun things to do clouds do. They could rain, hug the earth, travel and see the side of the earth, climb mountains and get acquainted with all the earth, you know, the earthly mother. They could carry the thunder to inspire the strong, and to frighten the weak, the clouds' leaves of the, the clouds' lives are filled with excitement and adventure. Oh, no wonder I'm so excited for this video. <laughs> All right, that is why they are the guardians of students and those who diligently require it. Brothers and sisters, let us move in and close this. How long we are into this thing? Oh, 
49 minutes. Oh, no, 39 minutes. All right. Isaiah 6, verse 4. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that crieth, and the house was filled with smoke. <laughs> You figure that out. This is connected, okay? This is connected um, uh, with uh, Isaiah 6. So it's connected with, um, uh, and the temple was filled with smoke, all right? Go ahead, do, do a little research, brothers. Exodus 15, verse 1. Then sing, Mo wait, wait, we already into this, right? All right? Then sing, Moses, the children of Israel, this song unto Yahweh, and speak, saying, I will sing, I will sing and unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed glorious. The horse and his rider have been thrown in the sea. Let us sing for the Lord, brothers and sisters. We don't care here. Whoa, I will sing. Hey, I, I, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The rider half on and the sea. Glory to Yahweh, glory to the Father, glory to the horrible and terrible one day. You cannot mess with the Messiah glory. You cannot mess with the Messiah judgment. It's coming for you, hey, it's coming to you, hey, it's coming to save his children. Hey, many, many take out for Babylonia. <laughs> yes sir yes sir all right exodus 15 verse 6 that right hand O lord is becoming glorious in power that right hand O lord have dashed and pieces the enemy <laughs> in the spiritual realm it's about to be birth here in the physical realm <laughs> all right let us oh wait no that's we already done all right we're done brothers and sisters all right we're done Okay, we're done, brothers. Uh, please join me at 8.30 p.m. Uh, we are going to uh, go to into the throne of David, okay? Fast pray, repent, repeat, brothers. Pray, pray. This is not time to give up, brothers. Things are, things are already here. We know that judgment started in March 2020. This much is going to amplify. Join us in the 40 days fast. Peace be with you. There will be no Jacob's trouble. The beast is done. His mark is rejected. He has no power. Says our Boja bolted off in 2020. He left the church. Okay. A lot of our brothers and sisters are still hooking up to this spiritual meth. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys at 8.30 p.m. Shalom. May the king reign forever. Peace be with you.